what are the involvement, what in the importance or place do you think chemical substances have in music? Not even necessarily chemical substances, but mind altering substances have in creation of music and creation of art. I guess the, um, the ability to let go because a sober mind will probably think too much. You know what I'm saying? And when making music, sometimes it's not about thinking, it's just about a feeling and about doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, if I, I never, I, I can't remember the last time I wrote a, but probably jail, <laughs> wrote a rap, you know, or wrote music, not high, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. because, and, and I remember then when I was writing sober, I was real meticulous and it was a lot of times where I'd be like, I can't say that or people ain't gonna get that. Let me figure out something else, you know? But when I'm high, I'm just, you know, I'm just, and then that's just it. It's, I don't know. So maybe it's just like, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I don't saying it's a bad thing. Everybody has their method and everybody has their strategies. But I know for me, it's just a sense of freedom with what I'm doing. Because if I was sober, I would think too much about it, you know? Excellent. And I probably would. Me, a sober Denny Brown, would probably try to make radio songs and try to appeal, make girl songs. and Because uh, I would be thinking to myself, I got to make music to make money. This is my career. I have to support myself. I have to do this. But when you high, you're like, fuck that shit. I just want to make some hard shit. I want to make some shit that's tight, you know? So, because when you high, that's what you want to do. You want to hear some tight shit. Yeah. You don't want to hear some music that means just give me your money and then a year later you ain't even going to remember this song, you know? 